Woohoo! Hey everybody, welcome back to my ARC. Before we jump into the species of the week, let's look at last week's chosen survivor. The votes are in, you all picked, the air drumstick. Connectimals. Oh, I feel bad for you guys. Putting those little dudes on the list basically meant that no one else stood a chance. <laughs> oh well, I rigged it. Welcome aboard, you cutie little fuzzies. You get to live. Yes, you do, you get to live. Ah! This week, we move skyward. Now, before some douchebag comments saying, why would you save birds from a flood uh, when they could fly, remind yourself that while birds do indeed fly, their habitat is on land. And when that land is underwater, they're gonna get tired and they're gonna drown. They get through. Also, I'm giving a disclaimer now that angry birds have been purposely left off this list for obvious reasons. I mean, one, they're all suicidal, two, they don't obey the laws of physics, and three, it's the only game in history I hate more than battle toads. Said it, yeah. Oh, that was a sidebar. Okay, on with our candidates. First this week is the legendary Scrooge McDuck. Now I know what you're thinking. I'm just putting him on the list because I have a thing for Scottish accents and awesome 8-bit side-scrollers. I do. But if we let Scrooge on board, he's gonna finance the whole thing. We could add a lounge, maybe a barn, deck cannons, boom, Velcro wall. Screw the art, we're just gonna make a cruise ship. <laughs> Plus the guy's very handy with numbers, so when we need to rebuild the world economy, Who's gonna be a better choice, huh? I don't wanna do accounting. Take it. The downside is he's kind of the animal equivalent of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, so even if he did help us rebuild the world economy, it probably would not work out well for the rest of us. He likes to dive in gold. He would take our money. And even though he's spry for his age, the dude is 60, so Wookie Hole might not be up to snuff. Know what I mean? Second up, the ducks from Duck Hunt. Okay, so obviously the big pro here is that it's extremely gratifying to shoot the hell out of them, but let's assume that our goal is not senseless slaughter. I shot these guys like crazy when I was a kid, and for karmatic balance, they deserve a chance to be on the list. After years of putting up with being taken out with a light gun, there is a real opportunity here to make up for all the pain we put them through by letting them breed so we could shoot them after the floodwaters recede. We're gonna need food, guys. Come on, it's not that heartless. The downside is we will need a lot of them if we're gonna breed them, then that means they're gonna take up a lot more space than they might have. Also, because they're 8-bit, their wings are super sharp, and when they flap around, they can easily just slice open the ship. Stick it through, wood chips everywhere. It makes sense. Third on our list are the chickens from Legend of Zelda. I mean, come on, they could supply eggs, duh, all right? No brainer. It wasn't uncommon for the ships of old to have a chicken on board for that very reason. Also, to prevent scurvy. No wait, that's oranges. Forget I just said it. I just like saying scurvy. Scurvy, 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 scurvy. Flip side. If you know the Legend of Zelda, you know that these little guys have a dark side. If you hurt one, even by accident, you're suddenly in a Hitchcock movie. Here, here, here's a nightmare scenario, all right? You're on the Ark, rough seas. You walk downstairs and you're like, hmm, I think I'll go feed the chickens. I don't know why I'm talking about this. Except when you get there, the boat tilts from a wave, whoa, when you step on one, oh no. Suddenly this cutie is like picking your eyes out. Your life is forfeit. You're bleeding all over. You are dead. I don't know, it's just something to think about. Fourth on the birds list is the crow from Resident Evil. I, I know what you're thinking. Why would I want a freaky evil bird that could turn me into a zombie on board? <laughs> I was trying to think outside the box here, you guys. I mean, listen, crows are carrion feeders, so it could actually help, you know, clean up dead things. But if we had dead things, they would probably be the cause of them, so yeah. And you know, uh, I'm a blank. Honestly, I can't think of any positives for this selection. Let's just forget about this one. Number five, Pippi. Yeah, you heard me. Pippies are those birds in Mega Man that make your life hell. Though, to be fair, everything in Mega Man aims to make your life hell. <laughs> Am I right? Right? You associate with that idea, right? The great thing about Pippi, though, is that its metal skin makes it highly resistant to damage and attacks from predators. Plus, it breeds faster than rabbits. I mean, one egg spawns like 60 Pippies. And we consider how much Pippi that is. Holy shit, that's a lot of Pippi. Pippi, 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 Pippi. I'll say Pippi one more time. You love it, right? Thumbs up. The downsides are its virtues. It has metal skin, yeah, so it's not gonna be much use in the food chain. And that leads us to the breeding problem. With no natural predators and reproduction on that scale, boom, boom, there's no population control. And with no population control, there's no way to stop the deluge of that much pippy. It's just not the best, let's move on. Lastly are the harpies from Witcher. Now, 
hear me out on this one. I put one of those things on the edge of the boat and we have the scariest sentinel you could ever ask for. I mean, look at these bitches. Not to be insulting. A crazy huge whale would think twice about swallowing the ark with that thing sitting on deck or apocalypse pirates. I'm kind of fixated on apocalypse pirates, whatever. Okay, I might be stretching this a little bit, but with that much creepiness, there's gotta be an advantage to having that ma'am around. And what better advantage than as a deterrent? The downside is that it is a carnivorous hell beast that likes to feast on human flesh. And worse, they make super annoying sounds. I would avoid it not because I was spooked by it, but because I got so sick of hearing it. Ah, who wants to listen to that? And there we have it, this week's candidates. Cast your vote below in the comments and decide who gets a place on my arc. And as always, here's a reminder that you could win your own Really? Please subscribe to Geek It's Hundred to help us keep going or I'm gonna give you harpies. Yeah, that was a joke, but I'm not very happy, so it's not funny.